Time now for Sid Sixero. This is where I get 60 seconds into blah, 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 blah. Thank you. When last we checked in on Kevin Durant, he told his boss, the owner of the Brooklyn Nets, that he wanted to be traded. If not, then he wanted his coach and GM, Canadian basketball legend Steve Nash and Sean Marks, fired immediately. The owner said, I'm not doing it, which is nuts. Guess what? Story got more nuts. According to NBA insider Mark Stein, one executive told him Durant would rather retire than ever play for the Brooklyn Nets again. That's not all. Stein also reported that if Durant isn't traded by training camp, which begins later next month, then he will, quote, cause as much of a ruckus behind the scenes as possible, end quote, in order to facilitate a deal. Now, plenty of other NBA superstars have played the ruckus card. Wouldn't be the first time. Reportedly, plenty of Eastern Conference teams are still in it, although lately I haven't heard the Raptors mentioned much. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Vivek Jacob of CBCSports.com and Raptors.com joining us. Big picture here, Vivek. Durant, there's no way Durant is playing in Brooklyn. The one thing I know about NBA superstars is they normally get their way. Do you see that continuing here, or is there finally a break in that pattern? No, I'm with you. I think whether it's asking for Sean Marks and Steve Nash to be fired, whether the, these rumors uh, about potentially creating a ruckus come training camp, uh, I think he's just trying to make it clear that there's no way he's playing for the Brooklyn Nets this season. And whatever he has to do to make that happen, he's going to do. Uh, you look at the situation now, it, it seems like the Nets are trying to make him realize there's no deals out there that they want to do. And he's saying, well, you're going to take one of them because no matter how low the price is, I am not showing up for you. I'm okay with the Raptors rumor mill slowing down on this. Are you? Yeah, I am. I think when you look at the situation, Kevin Durant, you don't know when he's going to be unhappy again. And so, mm -hmm. uh, you look at the assets it's going to take to get him, whether it's Siakam, Scotty Barnes, obviously the Raptors have made it clear they're not going to include him. Kevin Durant is just not going to be the type of player that you want to hang your franchise on for the next couple of years. The interesting part of this week too, Vivek, is, and for those who missed it, the Christmas Day schedule leaked out. It's, it's, one, it's the biggest TV day of the NBA season, and the five games that are going to get played were, were thrown out there by some of the best insiders in the business. There were no Brooklyn Net appearances on that schedule. That tells me people at the highest levels of the NBA have zero confidence that Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, some of these superstars, will be on this roster come December the 25th of this year, which kind of blew my mind. Did you read it the same way? And the other thing, too, is you look based on last season and, frankly, their entire Nets tenure, even if they are there, there's no guarantee that they'll play. <laughs> and so yep. taking that chance just makes no sense. And so uh, that's how the game's played out. Obviously, you keep wondering why the Knicks get on there, but uh, that situation is what it is. <laughs> look, I, I did sports talk for a very long time. I'm not tired of this story. I haven't <laughs> been tired of the story from the get-go. Anyone in sports who claims they're tired of it is a huge liar face. Are you tired, Vivek Jacob, of this story? No, because we just keep getting more and more stories out of it, right? And so we're just waiting for the next one. Oh, I love it. I love it. Vivek Jacob, again, Raptors.com, CBCSports.com. Also covered the National Bank Open uh, last weekend. He is a man of many talents. Vivek, take care. Appreciate you.